Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Mount's Kitchen. Today I want to make a gnocchi and vegetable, vegetable kind of a one dish product. You put it on a sheet pan, so it's a sheet pan product. And it's got uh, zucchini and bell peppers and I'm going to put some mushrooms. So come on into my kitchen and let's get started. Alrighty. So first of all, we're going to do uh, some spiral zucchini. That's already, I already got it prepackaged this way. Now, if you want to cut your own, that's fine or do it that way. But I went and got the prepackaged. I take them the easy way out. So here we have about 10 ounces of that. So I'm going to dump this in here in this pan. We get rid of this. Sorry. And then I also have a bell pepper. It calls for one bell pepper and one red onion, but I'm going to use this white onion. I like that just as well. So I'm going to dump these in here. And that's probably two bell peppers, but it doesn't, the, the amount of vegetables doesn't, do not really matter. It doesn't really matter. And then we got some zucchini and I got zucchini and squash because I like squash as well. So I got yellow squash as well as zucchini. We're going to dump that in there. And then we got a pint of like grape or cherry tomatoes. We're going to dump those in there. See, this is all very easy. Then I'm going to dump, this was something that I like. I love mushrooms. So I just got a gourmet variety, a gourmet blend. Going to dump that in there. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the gnocchi. But the gnocchi, we want to kind of break it up. We don't want it to be stuck together. Whoops, there went one for the floor. But we got, we're going to break this up so it's not stuck together as we go through. And I'll do it again as I need to for the dish. But I kind of, if it gets stuck together, it just doesn't cook as well. So we got to separate it. Gnocchi kind of gets, uh, and I guess you say it gnocchi, it could be yoki. I don't know exact terminology. Everybody says it differently. <laughs> but anyway, we're breaking this up. And after that, I'm going to add, so I got rid of that. So I'm going to add my olive oil. And this is a fourth cup of olive oil or thereabouts. You may want to add a little more or something like that. I had a little bit of extra vegetables, so I had a little more than a fourth. I'm going to mix it up and see if it looks right and go from there. All right. So we set that aside. And then I'm going to use kosher salt. Um, you can use regular if you want, but I'm going to use about a, a, a teaspoon and a half. Teaspoon and a half. So I'm going to measure that there. And then for my pepper, I'm going to use about a fourth of a teaspoon. But, you know, I like a little pepper, so I'm going to get a little more heavier on that. And I think I'm going to add a dash more for me. So that's that. So now what we have to do is mix it all together. I'm going to use my hands. I found out using the hands was the best. So I'm going to mix this thoroughly with my hands, and then we're going to come back and um, well one other thing i'll tell you before we we go off here is i've got you're supposed to have four cloves of garlic i'm gonna leave them separate and i'll show you what to do them a second on the sheet pan when we come back okay as you can see i have got everything pretty much spread out you want to get it as one layer as possible S some recipes may call for two sheet pans so you may have to divide it into two sheet pans now my garlic I'm not going to mix like some of the recipes say mix it with it. I'm, I'm from what I've learned, I'm just going to put, I love garlic, so I put extra. I'm going to put them in the corner over here and let them cook. And I did not peel them all the way. I'm going to do it at the end. I'm going to smash the garlic at the end, peel it, smash it, and mix it back in with my dish at the very end. Now, the last thing I do before I put it in the oven, and the oven is at 450. So 450 for about 20 minutes, maybe 25. So it's kind of getting, you can tell it's kind of getting brown. The, the gnocchi may be getting a little brown or the vegetables are tender. You can tell. So from my oven, it's about between 20 and 25 minutes. All right. So I'm going to sprinkle because I love Slappy Mama season, but you don't have to put anything else. This is just extra for me. But I'm going to lightly sprinkle some of this over it because I love it and I like it a little hot and spicy. All right. That's going to do me for that. All right. So we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for uh, 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in that time frame. And we'll be right back. All right, we've got everything. As you can see, it looks really good. I don't know if you can see it or not. Very good. And my garlic, I had separated out, you know, in a little bundle on the side, if you remember. And I have peeled the garlic, so it's very easy to peel after that. And so I've smashed the garlic, and I'm going to, like, rake it in here into my dish here. And then I'm going to 
just toss it around a little bit and get it mixed in. Get the garlic mixed into that and give it some flavor. And that is set. The longer it marinates, the more all the garlic taste and everything comes out. So if you let it set overnight or whatever. But this is a fantastic and healthy salad. Now on top of that, I'm gonna I've I've cut basil. So I got some scissors and I've cut some basil up and I'm gonna make it real pretty with basil on top. And that also is so tasty in it. About four leaves of that. And then you have some Parmesan, but you can use other cheeses. I'm gonna put some Parmesan on top. Y'all can come in and look at this. We want right here. Look how good that looks. So this is it. This is your gnocchi with zucchini and vegetables. It's a great dish. I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.